Hey, what's up guys and welcome to part 27 of what if Naruto was Nosuke. Remember to get this one to 100 like as usual, share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out my second channel. I posted a new episode of what if Naruto was the next sage of Six Path and also I posted an episode of Uchi and Naruto the sage so go and enjoy that as well. And on this channel I just posted what if Naruto went missing for 4 years? So if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the anime making family and be a part of the channel. And thank you for all your support and your help. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Start the intro. So the last time we left off, Naruto was facing off against Pain. Due to him wanting to know the full extent of his power, he ended up removing the seal on his forehead and with that he went into a white dimension nothing but white as he met himself but he was different shape looked different overall as it then run into him remembering everything as all of Naruto's memories start to flood back in the real world Naruto's body completely exploded a white aura that shot straight up into the air and Naruto came out in a new form as Samantha then went to the group and told them that it's time for her to explain everything and we went back into a flashback where Naruto was in the Osusuke's cell as he met someone named Adam as the Osusuke's went to different different planets collecting rare beings as they caught Adam because his blood is quite special to heal. So yeah, that was basically last where we left off but you guys can go ahead, switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So let's start this new episode. We go straight back into the flashback as Adam told Naruto to be quiet he's coming. The door of the cell then opened as someone walked in as the person is walking down the corridor as Naruto could see the long white robe. He wonder who it is. Hey, who are you? Naruto shouted as Adam said no. But Naruto was sent flying back as he slammed into the wall where the chains hold him. As Naruto wondered where that invisible force came from that hit him. As a man stand in front of his cell. The man had long flowing white hair. He had on a white robe. He had an X on his cheek. The Yakugan eyes as he looked at Naruto. Naruto looked up at the man. Who the hell are you? said Naruto. And why am I here? Let me out of this place. As Adam cursed in his mind, this kid is going to get himself killed. The man looked at Naruto. Another force hit Naruto sending him flying back into the wall as the pressure was pushing him back hard. As Naruto tried to come off of it but it was really strong pushing him back. As the man's eyes then lowered. As Naruto dropped to the ground as he started to breathe and huff heavily. What is this? said Naruto. What did you just use? Pathetic human, the man muttered. Who are you talking to? Naruto said. I can't hear you. Pathetic human as always. Well, you want to know who I am? My name is Gabriel Osuski. Gabriel Osuski? So, why am I here? Naruto said. When I arrived with Amara Osuski, she told me that she want me to be a part of the Osuskis and she would spare my world if I do it and she wouldn't kill my friends. There was no part of me being in this cell. So answer my question said Naruto. Don't get bright with me boy. Said Gabriel. If it was up to me, I would have killed you a long time ago. But you have been summoned. As Gabriel put his hand on the cage. As the door then lit up with a white light, it then opened slowly. Gabriel then walked in as he held out his hand. Hey, what are you doing? He then slammed his hand right on Naruto's chest as white markings came over Naruto's body as it then vanished. Hey, what did you do to me? That will seal all of your power so you can't do anything to try and escape. Gabriel then put his hand down on the chains that hold Naruto as they then vanish. He grabbed Naruto by his shirt and started to pull him. Walk this way, he said. As Naruto realized that he had no connection to his chakra, he couldn't do anything at the moment. He had to listen. As he glanced at Adam, 
Farewell, my friend, said Adam, as Naruto walked out with Gabriel. Naruto then arrived as he heard a lot of talking. As he walked and walked, Gabriel pushing him as Gabriel's right behind him. Stop pushing me. I know where to go. This hallway just leads to that one door. Don't speak to me, maggot, Gabriel said. As Naruto growled, but he kept on walking. Gabriel then told Naruto to stop as he did. Gabriel then knocked on the door. As the door then opened, two other Osuskis, as they looked like guards. They opened the door and Gabriel told Naruto to go in. As Naruto went in, he was surrounded by a lot of Osuskis as they surrounded him and he was in the middle. All of them were sitting in chairs surrounding the chambers and Naruto was looked down upon as all of them was looking down on him. Ah, Gabriel said a voice, you brought him here. So now let's begin. As Naruto turned around to see, it was one of the men in the chamber talking. So where is she? The man asked. I am right here, said a female voice as the door then opened as Amara stepped in. So Amara, this boy you claim to have Ezekiel power, why do you want him to join our ranks? Explain yourself. Well, this boy is quite strong. It is not just because of the Osuski power flowing inside of him. He has trained on earth to become a sort of a ninja. Our Osuski power with his natural power mix, he has become quite strong and I believe that he can become even more strong. And with him on our side, even though we cannot be trifled with now, you know that there is that other race out there. But with this boy, training some of the weaker Osuskis, they can also become strong, him teaching them for them to become more powerful and that will benefit we a lot. Hmm, the man said as he looked over at Naruto. So tell me boy, will you listen and do as you're told? Do I have a choice? Naruto asked. No, the man said. So you're gonna kill me if I don't listen, huh? Well, we can't allow you to go around with the Osuski power, so we will take it from you by ending your life. Come to think of it, how did you acquire the Osuski power? Ezekiel was it? Ezekiel was a very powerful man. How did you acquire his powers? I don't know, said Naruto. Speak up, the man said. I don't know, Naruto said in a kind of a shout. I was kind of born this way. You weren't, said Amara. Ezekiel died some years back and I believe that his power and his consciousness flow through space but I don't know how this boy came in contact with them and Ezekiel is no more. This boy has full control over the Osuski's power. So what do you all say? The man asked as he turned. All Naruto then turned as he saw everyone focusing on him. Everyone nodded. I approve except for one. No, I do not, she said. Samantha, why don't you? The man asked. Well, sir. He's just a lonely human, a puny weakling human. It was a mistake for him to get these powers and he shouldn't have them. We don't need him on our side. You should put him to execution and death. Really Samantha? Asked Amara. You really want to kill him? Why? What has he done to you? I don't like humans, said Samantha. They are just weak, pathetic things. And that is also the planet that Kaguya when and she fall for the pathetic humans i can't believe her said samantha samantha the man said you already know how this is going to go we're going to stay here until you approve or you're going to change your vote and just accept it samantha sighed as she looked at naruto as naruto looked back at her glaring all right i approve but i don't want to see this pathetic human in my sight, she said, as she got up and walked away, as a man sighed, Alright, this meeting is finished. He then looked at Amara. Well, Amara, since you're the one that wants to do this, you will be in full custody of the human. 
you will be responsible for anything that happened. If he does any wrong, you will be taking all the blame, the man said. Yes, sir, she said with a nod. Come with me, Amara said, as Naruto followed behind her. They were walking for about two minutes. As Naruto spoke up, where exactly are we going? Quiet, she said. Hey, why do you have to be this way? I know you're not like the rest of them. Can you just talk to me? said Naruto. Fine, she said in a sigh. You agreed to do what we say and follow all the rules. And you should not question. But for right now, you're going to be living at the house I am bringing you. And you're going to be staying there. And you're going to be teaching the lesser of Suskis. I know that you possess great power. You even have power that can even rival some of our top heads. But that power inside of you is uncontrollable. And when we were fighting back at Earth, you seemed like you didn't know how to control it. Naruto looked down at his hand. You're right, I didn't. That was the first time I got those eyes. I don't really know what they are. They are called the Renegon, she said. The Renegon? Wait, how exactly do you know this? We have a lot of knowledge, she said. So, just don't ask any question, and just do what you are told. Naruto sighed. So what now? Just follow me, she said. As they were walking for another three minutes, they then arrived to a giant palace as Naruto couldn't believe this. This place was so big. This one place was bigger than the entire leaf village. This one palace. Am I going to be staying here? Said Naruto. Oh no, said Amara. This is where I live. You're going to be staying in the back. What do you mean the back? Naruto asked. Follow me, she said, as she brought Naruto around. As the palace was so big that Naruto couldn't even see the end, it went on for mile and mile as he wondered how many people live here, but he wasn't going to ask. She then arrived at a small cottage. So, let me guess, I'm going to be staying here, said Naruto with sarcastic tone. Yes, you are, she said. Follow me. As she opened the door and entered, as Naruto entered behind her, it wasn't so small. It was like a two story house. There was an upstairs, but it was quite different from Earth. There was a lot of weird things that Naruto didn't understand, but he had to play along with it for now, as he didn't know what to do if he should try and escape. As that thought came to his mind, if he should escape, they would just come back to earth and defeat him. But he had another thought in mind. They possess knowledge and power and strength. And if he learn how to control all this power, he can take down them all and then go back to earth. That is the best thing to do for now. So, here is your sleeping quarters, said Amara, snapping Naruto out of his thoughts. As Naruto looked around, as he didn't see a bed, he just saw... A metal surface. What is this? Naruto said. As he went over to it and he poked it. But it then. Bring down with his finger. As it was soft. But for the look of it. It looks like it was tough as steel. What is this? Naruto asks. Well. This is what you human call a bed. But it is different from what you human are used to. Wait a minute. How do you know about human and our bed and all those things? I told you, she said. We have a lot of knowledge. You don't see us, but we are gathering knowledge. What does that mean? You don't have to worry about that for now, she said. For now, just rest up because tomorrow will be the day of training. Wait, aren't you going to remove this seal from me? Naruto said lifting up his shirt as the seal was still all around him. No, that will stay in contact for now. There is no need for you to use your power. And, don't, she said, as she activated her Byakugan. Don't try to escape or do anything, because if you mess up, it will be my fault. And, I will come after you, and I will kill you. She said that making Naruto gulp. Do you understand, she asked him, as Naruto nodded his head. 
as she went away, Naruto then lay down as the bed was quite comfy as he looked up at the ceiling. Is this really gonna be my new life? They want me to train people in ninja ways? What are they gonna do when they found out? That I really don't know anything about that. I know how to like throw cool knives and all those things. But what exactly do they want me to teach them? Oh, I get it. It must be chakra or something like that. They want to learn how to harness my power or something like that. Like the way they're doing Adam. They want to just use me as an experiment. These people are monsters. They just put it up like they're nice. But behind that, I know that they're behind some dark shady things. But for now, there's not like I can do anything. Because if I try to escape, she's gonna come after me. And with this seal, I don't even know what to do about this. Oh yeah, said Naruto, as reality struck him. Kurama, as he then closed his eyes and went into his mindscape, as he came up and he saw Kurama there sleeping, because him and Kurama already bonded before all of this happened. Kurama, Kurama, Naruto yelled, but Kurama wasn't moving an inch, as Naruto went right at his ears. Kurama, Naruto screamed out as Kurama's eyes opened wide. Naruto then jumped back as Kurama flickered after him. Just calm down, it's me, said Naruto, it's me. What happened to you? Naruto asked. I almost forgot about you. You usually make that mental link with me and talk, but you went so silent. What exactly happened? Well, Naruto, after they capture you, while you were unconscious, they sensed me inside of you. One of them placed their hands on your stomach as they were absorbing my chakra, and they were taking away so much that I was fading out of consciousness. But before he could take it all, that woman, Amara stopped him. But I passed out and I don't really remember anything. Well, we're here on this Osusuke planet. And to say, they want me to train weaker Osuskis. Train them? You can't even train yourself, said Kurama. I know. That's the big deal, but I can't tell them that. I wonder if they know that I'm a kid, Naruto asked. Kurama looked at Naruto, they must, by your appearance. So, what am I going to do? Well kid, I have no idea, said Kurama. Oh yeah, Kurama, when I was back there, I heard one of them talking about Kaguya, Ka Kagu, you mean Kaguya Osusuke, said Kurama. Yeah, you know of her. Who is that? Well, she's a Osusuke. She came to Earth a long, long time ago. And she's the mother of the one you call the Sage of Six Path, the old man. Really? So she stayed at Earth? So the Osuskis have known about Earth for a long time now. That is the reason why they have knowledge on us. But how has no one ever found out about them? Well, kid, I can't tell you that. I've been locked up inside of you for so long now. So what were you doing before that? I was locked up inside of your mother, and then Mito, and before that, Naruto asks. Well, I was roaming the place, and then I was part of the Ten Tails before the Sage of Six Paths separated us. But that is not what is the main reason right now, said Kurama. There is no way for you to get out of here because if you do, they're just gonna follow you back to Earth. And they're going to destroy it this time. I already know that. But I have a plan though. They say they have knowledge over everything and all things, right? So, we can just stay here for a while. And I can get strong. Like super strong. To be able to wipe all of them out. And after I do that, I will go back to Earth. Do you even know where we are? How do you know that we're near Earth? And how exactly are we going to go back there? Can you breathe in space? After I get all the information out of the knowledge, I will find a way to do it. But for now, I just have to stay cool and calm and just stay by myself so no one really get an idea what I'm doing. But for now, that Amara, she seems to be the only one that really talks to me here. So 
I just have to get on her good side. And there's another girl, but you missed her. She, when I went to this council place, her name is Samantha, but she really hates me, hates human and all. And I also met another being. His name is Adam. He was like a cyclops. Well, Krama, this world seemed to be outstanding. If anyone on Earth thought that Earth was the limit, but it wasn't. There are actually other galaxies, different aliens from the Osuskis, and tomorrow, everything is going to start. But for now, I'm just gonna get some rest, said Naruto. Just rest and prepare yourself, said Kurama. Yeah, said Naruto, as he took a yawn, as he then closed his eyes. But guys, I'm gonna be ending this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember, share this to all of your friends on your social media platform. And go ahead and check out my second channel. I posted two what if on it. And on this channel, I posted what if Naruto went missing for four years. So check that out and enjoy. But for now, I'm out. Peace.